Saturday and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm here with Garrett. Say hi Garrett. Hi yes. So we want to see if good old-fashioned laundry detergent will clean this rug. So I went out and I bought the market leading laundry pod to see how well it would work at cleaning it. Now the rug is absolutely filthy, like really bad. I'm gonna guess it's about 30 or 40 years old and I'm also going to guess that it's never been cleaned in its entire existence. It's also made of wool, which is why I think this might work a little bit better than you'd expect, but I'll explain more about that a little later. Now for some extra added spice, I'm gonna make this a little bit more interesting and I'm gonna split the rug 50-50 down the middle and I'm gonna clean it with some Oriental Rug Cleaning Shampoo, which is a professional grade cleaning product that's manufactured in the USA. So if you're watching from America, I think you call these Tide Pods. We call this a Purcell Pod. Yeah. We call this a Purcell Pod, or this particular brand is Purcell. I think the most common brand in America is Tide. So we're literally going to do a 50-50 split with our good old fashioned laundry pod and our professional grade rug cleaner on this side. So I've got two buckets behind me. I've got five liters of water in this one. I'm gonna drop my laundry pod in. Give that a few minutes to dissolve. And I also have five liters of water ready to go with our rug cleaning shampoo. I have some Gorilla Tape here. I'm gonna tape it right down the middle, but first I'm gonna vacuum the rug really, really well. I won't bore you with the detail, but 95% of soil in a rug is gonna be dry, so if you get it out dry, you're not gonna turn that into mud and it's not gonna make the rug look worse rather than better. So first things first, we're gonna give the rug a really good vacuum. Also gonna vacuum the back to knock out any dirt in the base fibers onto the ground, which we'll be able to clean up also. So the, the vacuum is basically vibrating the grit out of the rug. Okay, now the rug has been vacuumed. We've got our tape down the middle. I honestly don't know how this is gonna turn out, so I'm kind of excited to see how well or not well, the two products do. I know that this one is definitely gonna work because we've cleaned thousands of rugs with it, but I've never cleaned a rug with this stuff. Point to note, the reason I've gone for a biological washing powder is that biological washing powders, the biological element is actually enzymes which clean dirt, as well as the detergents, surfactants, various different other chemicals and compounds in the laundry detergent. So theoretically, this should actually work quite well, but traffic on a rug is very different soil load to basically food and sweat and body oils that you're gonna have in clothes. So it'll be interesting to see which one actually does or if they're anyway equal in their cleaning power. So I'm gonna start with the biological washing powder on this side first. And the reason I'm doing that is because the biological washing powder is gonna need about 15 minutes of a dwell for the enzymes to do their thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring the mixture onto the rug and then agitating or scrubbing it in to break the bond of the soil to the fiber, emulsify it, solubize it, and allow me to then rinse it. You can actually see it breaking yeah, out. Yeah, I'm looking at the color on this either. Yes, you can see it's breaking out the soil, but like... Like if you look at that pop off compared to where your leaves are. So you can already see, as Gareth is pointing out, the top half compared to where my knees are. And you can see that the color in this is becoming richer and more vibrant because it's, well, cleaner. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. But like one of the key ingredients in this is probably washing soda, which is in a lot of the professional stuff as well. Yeah. I wasn't expecting. It's got a result. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually seeing the colors starting to really <laughs> pop and I was not expecting that at all. The irony of it is, at the start of this, you said yourself, this is for washing clothes and stuff like that, and wool is used in clothes. Yeah, wool is used in clothes, but it's not the material, it's, it's the soil type. And a soil type in a rug from foot traffic and pets and grease and to... fires and all sorts of stuff, whatever else is in a home, is very different to traffic in clothes. I've saturated it. Oh, holy shit. I mean, here, look. See that soil just breaking out? 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> the camera's picking it up great too. I'm like, I think, like, look here. Look at that coming through. Like, that is. Folks, this is eye opening for me. I did not expect this level of clean. Scrub it through. Holy shit, that's really good. Okay, I scrub it through. If you can see the water that's coming out there. I don't have a white floor in here for various reasons, but I'm kind of considering that maybe I should so you can see the dirt coming out of it. But there's a lot of dirt coming out of this, guys. I was not expecting this much dirt release from laundry detergent. I really wasn't. You live and learn. Don't know. I can't really tell yet. This is after really surprising me with just how much dirt is after coming out of this and the color change in the rug. It's be interesting to see if there's much of a difference because the, each side is equally as dirty as the other. It's a lot foamier already. So the foam is helping to encapsulate the soil. Um, which is why for rug cleaning certainly you want a bit of foam but you don't want that in your washing machine because it would essentially come out your drains um, and break the washing machine. It's kind of hard to tell at this point but I think this is looking a little bit better but we can't really tell until we're finished. What do you think, Er? Looks like the, the other side has faded again. Yeah. But like looking at the parts of the foam, it does look like it's brightened it an awful lot, and not because there's a white filament of foam on it. It actually looks like it's it's broken out more because in the foam itself, the foam looks dirtier. You yeah. can see the dirt in the foam. Yeah. Well, this is this is a really good rug cleaning product. So it's designed to do what it's designed to do. Yeah, the, the water color that's coming out of this is much, much browner. And the foam as well is going brown here too. Now I don't want to scrub this side more than the other side, because that's not fair in comparison. So I'm just going to give this one little last pass. That's a lot of foam. And you're probably gonna be surprised with what I'm gonna do next. And guys, if you're gonna to attempt to do this at home, this is how I'd recommend you do it. Okay, so I have a carpet cleaning wand here, but a deck brush will actually do the trick. And what Gar is going to do is push the water towards me to sluice it out of the rug. And that is, well, yeah, that is, Kind of nuts. Okay. okay. That is kind of nuts. As I say, we're using a carpet cleaning one, but a deck brush will work if you want to attempt to do this at home. And the professional stuff has actually softened the rug. This is the other side. So the professional stuff is gliding because it's foamy, whereas the laundry detergent is sticky. But it's given a good result. So we have brushed, agitated, and also scraped out both sides. Now it is still a little bit too early to tell which side is better. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, as you can see behind me, is I'm gonna pressure wash each side of the rug off. Now, again, if you're gonna do this at home, it's 
really handy if you have a wet, dry vacuum to suck all the excess moisture out of it after you've done this. But for now, I'm gonna pressure wash this off and see where we're at. vacuumed, we have scrubbed, we have tried our two different products on it. I said to you guys earlier, if you had a wet vac, this is gonna make the process a whole bunch easier. Now I have a portable carpet cleaning extractor, so what I'm gonna do is extract each side, pull out the residual moisture, and then we're gonna judge exactly how each product has done. We're going to determine which is better. So folks, the rug that I thought was wool is actually synthetic because I didn't do a burn test to ID it. That doesn't really make the blindest bit of difference for what we've done here today. And what we've done here today is, I'd say we've gotten it 95% clean on this side of the rug, which is the professional cleaning product. And to my eye, this looks to be about 75 to 80 percent clean there's a little bit more in this what do you think uh, there's a lot more brightness on the professional side because the blues and the creams have come out a lot more vibrant when on the pod side it they still seem to be quite dark and that's pretty much what i'm seeing here the colors here are still a little bit muted to the naked eye whereas the colors on the other side look that bit more vibrant now, if you guys want to see how we professionally clean a rug in here, click the video on the screen appearing now. He says him, but he really means me, you know. I, I, I do the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I trained you. 